Are you looking for the best cordless vacuum? I have a Dyson right here because a long time ago we had another Dyson that we actually really liked. It was one of these cordless stick Dysons, but it fell and it went out on us. So we decided to get this new one here and I want to go through the instructions in this video about how to use this Dyson because we got the instruction bugger right here and we're going to take a look at every little thing that's in this Dyson and because I'm doing a little series of videos about it. First of all, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like to use and have and use to clean our houses. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So like I said right here, we have the Dyson. It's the V10 Total Clean. I don't know if y'all can read that right there on the stick. The Dyson Cyclone V10 uh, Total Clean. And uh, I, I'm not one to usually go through instruction manuals, but sometimes you just gotta go through them a little bit. And so we got one right here and I figured I'd have to take y'all through it. First of all, I was looking through this thing and it's, it's, I don't like the way it's laid out, first of all. Look, come and see this. So they give you the assembly right there. This makes sense. You have the motor, you have the stick, you have the, the head, and you click them all in and you can use any of these other attachments and they kind of show you this particular attachment, how it works. That makes sense. This right here, you got to plug it in, you plug that into there, and then it just says 3.5 hours. Does it mean it takes 3.5 hours to charge a full battery? Does it mean I need to charge it for the first time for at least three and a half hours? What is, I don't know, I'm not too sure exactly what this means. Because it's the first thing I see here on the manual, I would think that maybe it doesn't have quite a full charge and they recommend three and a half, but I don't know. Uh, and then there's this right here. I, I think they're just pointing out where the switches are, but there's the switch on top here, which is this guy right here on the vacuum. There's this max and then a two dot and a one dot, which is max two dot and one dot, and they're just t telling you how to flip it. And then there's the trigger there, and it just has a line. I don't know what this line, I'm, I'm assuming that means on. Because whenever you, you do that, it's going to turn on. I'm assuming that's what that is. And then they give you a little thing here about washing your filter. Wash the filter unit with cold water at least every month. Ensure that the filter unit is completely dry before refitting. Okay, great. So we have all that. We have an idea of what's going on here. Then we turn the page. You get the warranty uh, safety instructions. If you guys care to read any of this, I'm going to let y'all pause the video and y'all can read through some of this. I am not going to go through all of this with you. It's basically just all the recommended practices I guess that they say for the Dyson so if you guys care to read any of that y'all can pause the video and check that out right there it's too much and then they have it in Spanish as well if you guys uh, need it in Spanish and then right here this is where it gets a little confusing so it says power mode it says in Spanish and it shows you where the trigger is again it shows you max minimum and in the middle and then it says maximum suction Suction mo mode 2 and then suction mode 1, but it tells you all of the same it has all the same things here So I think it's letting me know that I can use all the things that they give me with these particular switches But it seems like I, this is totally irrelevant Because if I can use all the same ones with all the same switches, why would they even need to put this? I, I don't understand this now they have the lights during use on the, on the indicator here on the side. There's a little light uh, battery thing right there. As you press it, it lights up and it tells you what your battery is at. So obviously fully charged there. Uh, and then you have two charge, one charge, and then a blinking light, which I'm assuming it means it's about to go out. But they don't tell you that. They don't tell you fully charged, you know, two thirds of a way, one third of a way, needs to charge. It says... For further diagnostics, refer to the usage section. It seems like they could just put a little something right there so you have more clarification. That's the biggest thing here is that there's no clarification. Filters and blockage indicator LEDs. That's, I just noticed this. I'd never noticed it before, but right here on the side of the battery, there's like a little pipe filter thing there. And then there's filter written a couple different languages there. And what I'm assuming is that these little dots on the side here mean that it's blinking. And um, it just says for further diagnostics, refer to the usage section. I guess they're just showing you where it is. I, I, I don't know. Uh, cleaning the bin. This was probably the most useful diagram here. 
Um, basically, you, uh, you, you, know, you suck up everything and then you gotta undo by pressing in the button and then pulling your wand down. And then you wanna put it over a bag and then you press this little red piece right there down and then uh, you, clo you bring it back up and it clicks into place and then you close the cap there. So I figured that I'd do it, Krista, my wife, didn't empty out everything here, so I figured I'd do kind of like a little demonstration of that for you guys. So first we're gonna start by just this is probably one of the hardest things, is getting this thing uh, off of the, uh, getting the wand off of the actual housing unit, the motor unit here, but give it a little tug there and it comes off. So we have this. What's nice is that you can take that off so you can simply go on over to your trash can here. And uh, once you're in here, you simply can dump it right here. And the way that it works is that's the big red trigger right there. You just simply press that thing down and the whole thing like opens up and slides down, kind of pushes everything out, which is super nice. So let me demonstrate that for you guys. Okay. Ah, uh, we got a little jam. You see that? It's clogged. But I like how they have this gasket around there on the inside that helps to push everything out of the Dyson if it doesn't get jammed. We have a lot of leaves in our house and it looks like there's some kind of stick right there. Uh, they were cleaning the kids rooms today. It looks like it might be a sucker or a Q-tip maybe. So, uh, so if it does get jammed, it's going to have a little bit of a, uh, you know, it's not going to pull everything. I'm, I like how it doesn't get stuck though since it just has the gasket and it's not plastic. I see. Bring it back up. Close the lid. I like how tight that lid is on there too. It makes that nice click sound. I think that that sounds really nice. Let me see, let me go ahead. I'm just noticing that there's a little bit of debris kind of hanging off here. So I'm gonna open that up again. And I'm gonna just, what I do is I just kind of pull that out. You get your hands a little bit dirty, but sometimes it just doesn't get everything out of there. Um, oop, I guess you can close that at the same time too. <laughs> I haven't tried that before. Oh look, we got that, cl that clot out of there. Y'all saw that? I just kept, I did it a few more times and it came out. So uh, that's actually great because I was thinking that I was going to have to actually get my fingers and get some stuff, some tweezers or something to get all that out of there and it just came out nice and neat. So that's great. So that's how you uh, empty the Dyson. Very simple process. I like it a lot better than the old way that you used to have to empty it, which I plan on doing a video comparing our old one to our new one. And uh, that's one of the main things that I wanted to talk about in the video is how much more I like that. Uh, let's see, coming back to our, our book here. Uh, again, plug it in. They're showing you how to plug it in. The, th the recharging, three and a half hours. I, I, I'm assuming it takes three and a half hours to get a full charge on there. That's my guess. They show you how to slide it into the dock. That's fairly simple. Lights during charging, so they're going to blink as they charge and it just says for further diagnostics, refer to the thing. Um, light diagnostics, there's apparently red lights that come on and they blink and they mean certain things, but we don't know what they mean because they just have a whole bunch of white space right here. So you're probably wondering, where's this usage section at? We're getting there, not quite there yet. So there's a looking for blockages section here. And uh, I'm assuming you unplug it, you take off the hose, and then um, you slide that down, and then you can remove your uh, the lid part right here. And then you can get into where we saw that blockage uh, on the on the motorhead. But there's also, it could be on the motorhead, the filter. Uh, you might want to look on all your tools and you might want to look inside your wand. I think this is kind of silly how they put an eyeball like where you're supposed to look. I understand though that they're trying to make this multi-language and just by using pictographs it makes more sense. Um, I don't know, just be nice to have a little bit of text or something up there just kind of for some clarification. And then they show you how to put the thing back together by clicking it back on. There's a thing here about washing the filter unit, which if you remember from the front, they said that you should do that every month. And uh, it twists off and you pull it out and then you run water through it. You shake all the water out and then it says not to squeeze it, but let it dry out in the sun for tw at least 24 hours. I said minimum of 24 hours. And then uh, don't put it in wet, put it in dry, put it in, screw it on. Um, so that's, uh, that's that. And there's the direct drive at cleaner head instructions. This is for your, uh, your head unit here. Oh, by the way, that filter is this big giant thing right here. 
I haven't taken it off yet. Maybe towards the end of the video here, we'll take a look at that. But here is your head right here for your cleaning brush thing. And this is what they're gonna be talking about here. You gotta get this big giant thing uh, open. And I find that using a quarter actually works really well just to get that into there and turn and it comes off to unlock it. Once you unlock it, you pull it out, you can take off all your hairs and then you push it back in. It's fairly simple there. And then there's the mini motor tool as well. It looks like this one, see they don't take everything on this one, they took everything out. On this one, it doesn't look like you have to take everything out, which is fairly nice, I like that. So this right here is gonna be all your usage section that they talked about in here. And this is where they give you, look, battery indicator lights, low charge, medium charge, fully charged, uh, nearly full. It seems like they could have put this on these pages in those big giant white spaces that we saw earlier. I don't know why they didn't do that. It doesn't make any sense to me, but that's how they did it. And then lights during use, they give you the same kind of thing. High level, medium level, low level of charge, empty. Light diagnostics. Uh, this one's kind of silly because for all of them, the default thing is to call the Dyson helpline, which I got to say, we've called the Dyson helpline before and they are super knowledgeable, super helpful, and they can usually fix your problem right there on the phone. So definitely recommend. I'll give you all the number towards the end of the video. Definitely recommend if you're having some issues with your Dyson to give them a call. Uh, then they give you the... Um, the other lights right here, the blockage indicator, the filter, filter unit not fitted correctly is what the little, I guess it's blinking, and see the battery section for the battery. So they're just talking more about the LED indicator lights there. They give you a thing about emptying the, and then clearing the bin. I just did that for you guys. You can clean the bin that they say uh, you can take off this part right here like we sh talked about in here and you can take a damp cloth to the inside of here. They say do not run water through it or anything like that. Um, there are washable parts in here. Your machine has washable parts which require regular cleaning. Follow the instructions below and then they give you how to uh, wash the filter right here. Block blockages, automatic cutout. The machine is fitted with an automatic cutout. I'm assuming that they're talking about that, but I'm not positive. There's no picture here. Whenever we need a picture, there's no picture. <laughs> Oh boy, this will happen after the motor pulses a few times, i.e. switches on and off in quick succession, and the blockage indicator LED will illuminate. Leave it to cool down, looking for the blockages, ensure the machine is disconnected from the charger, because uh, you don't want to have personal injury. Clear the blockage before restarting, refit all parts, and clear. So they, I guess they kind of do show you a little bit about the clearing the blockages. That's this section right here. Um, but... Honestly, they, like, they don't tell you actually how to get in there and do it. Does that make sense? They just give you like what to look at. So I thought that that was kind of vague right there. Uh, charging and storage, fairly simple. Plug it into the thing over there. <laughs> uh, battery safety instructions, uh, y'all can read that there. That's nothing too, uh, too big there. There's the online support, dyson.com slash support. Disposal information, customer care. It does have a two year limited warranty on it. But what I wanted to show you guys here, this is all in Spanish. They do have it in Spanish if you need the Spanish version. In the to back back here, after the few blank pages, they give you uh, the contact info and there's the helplines right there. So if you guys need to contact them, uh, pause the video right now and get on the phone with them if you need some help there. Now, one thing that I wanted to do in this video, because since I haven't done it yet, is look at the filter. I've never taken the filter off. Now I know exactly where it is and how to do it. It's this big purple thing on the back here. Apparently you're supposed to turn and pull. So let's go ahead and do that. I have no clue what's gonna happen. Oh, wow, that comes off really easily. Okay, that's your filter right there. It's actually looking a little dirty. We might need to give that a little clean. We probably had this thing for about a good month now. And, uh, it seems to work well. So it says, look, it shows you on the inside more diagrams to a poor, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's kind of dark. Let me see if I can tap at the screen here to see if we can get it to focus on that. But there's like a little uh, water spout in there saying fill this thing up, basically kind of let the water come out of it and uh, to clean it out, it'll kind of make all the dirt fall off of it and then leave it out into the sun so that it can get some sun. So to put it back on, I'm just gonna simply there we go. That was simple. Very simple. It clicks into place. Very nice. Easy to use. Um, so that's everything that I know about this uh, Dyson. If you guys want to watch the original video that I did of me setting up the wall mount there or the unboxing of it, I'm going to put that right there on the screen. You guys go click those videos. I'll see y'all in those videos. 
Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated. And dad, oh, if you guys wanna check this out, I'm gonna link it up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it and not just take my word for it. Dad out.